Given this table of linear equation, we want to find the gradient of the line and the corresponding value of y when x is equal to 2. So there are many ways in which you can uh, solve this type of question, but I think the best way is to solve it simultaneously by finding the equation used to form this particular table. In the equation, you'll be able to obtain the gradient, which is the slope. And later on, substitute the value of uh, x equal to 2 in the main equation to obtain the value of y. The general linear equation is given as y equal to mx plus c, while y is the function of x, m is the slope. c is constant, which is the value of y when x is equal to 0. So now we can use these two coordinates, x1, y1, which is 0 and 30. Then the second coordinate, x2, y2, to be equal to 5 over 4 and 11 over 2. So we can now substitute these two coordinates into the main equation. For x1, y1, we have 0 and 3. So when y is 3, x is equal to 0. So in the main equation, we have 3 to be equal to m multiplied by 0 plus c. m multiplied by 0 is 0, so 3 is equal to c. So now the value of c is equal to 3. Equation number 1. Then for x2, y2, we have 11 over 2 to be equal to m multiplied by x2, which is 5 over 4, plus c. Eleven over two m multiplied by five over four is five m over four plus c. We call this equation number two. But c if you look at equation one, c says three. So substitute the value of c to be equal to three in the equation two. Eleven over two will be equal to 5m over 4 plus 3 plus 3 because c is now equal to 3 now let's multiply each term by 4 4 times 11 will give us 44 divided by 2 will have 22 22 will be equal to 4 times 5 is 20, 20 divided by 4 is 5, so we have 5m plus 4 times 3 is 12, so we have 12. Subtract 12 here, then we subtract 12 here. We end up having 10 equal to 5m. But m will be equal to 10 divided by 5, which is equal to 2. So our slope now is equal to 2. We know the value of c to be equal to 3 and the value of m to be equal to 2. So in the main equation, we have y equals 2 because our m now is 2 from here. We have 2 multiplied by x plus c, as c is 3. Then we are asked to find the corresponding value of y when x is equal to 2. So when x is equal to 2, we have 
y equals to 2 multiplied by 2 plus 3 and y is equal to 2 times 2 4 plus 3 7 so the corresponding value of y is equal to 7 and our slope which is the gradient is equal to 2